going to explain the lesson Gillu taken from grade 9 NCRT Sparsh part 1. It's written by Mahadevi Varma. Children, as usual, first I'll read the Hindi sentence, then I'll tell you the meaning, and then I'll tell you the meanings of the difficult words. Mahadevi Varma Dwara Likit Mera Parivar Mese Chayanit Gillu Ek Sansmaranatmak Gadya Rachna Hai. The book known as Mera Parivar, which has been written by Mahadevi Varma. This lesson, Gillu has been selected from that book and it's a memoir. It's a memoir means something which is worth remembering. Okay, a memory. Here, Dwara Likhit means written by. Chayanit means selected. Sansmaranatmak Gadya Rachina means a memoir, something which is related to a memory in the past. Is Rachana ke madhyam se Pashu Pakshiyon ke prati prem unke samrakshan ki bhavna utpann karne ke saath saath unki gati vidhiyon ka sukshma avalokan aur unse sad vivahar karne ki prerna milti hai. This lesson inspires us not only to behave very lovingly with birds and animals. Along with that, it develops the feeling of protecting these birds and animals. And along with that, you know, it inspires us to observe very minutely the activities of these creatures and to behave in a very loving, in a very nice way with them. Here, Rachna means composition. Madhyam se means through this composition. Samrakshan means protection. Ki bhavna means feeling. Utpanna karne ke saath saath. Along with developing the feeling of protection to, of these animals and birds. Gati vidhya means their activities. Suksh avalokan means minute observation. Sad vyavahar means a good behavior. So this inspires us to do all that. Now, you may get a question, uh, children, in the exam as to what does this lesson uh, inspire us to do? Or what inspiration do you get from this lesson? Is part se kya prerna milti hai? In that case, you can write the same answer. Is part dwara pashu pakshiyon ko swachhan aur mukt rakh unke swabhavik vikas ki bhavna ko bhi protsahit kiya gaya hai? Now, this lesson also encourages us to see to it that we keep them free and independent and let them develop in their natural habitat and in the natural way. Swachand means independent, mukt, free. Swabhavik vikas, their natural development. Normally, when we put them in the cages, you know, they forget to fly. Or when we, you know, uh, put them within a house, their development doesn't happen the way naturally it happens. So we should not let do that. That is what the authoress Mahadevi Varma has to tell us. Protsahit kiya gaya hai means it has been encouraged. Gillu is the name of this little squirrel and the entire story revolves around Gillu. Okay, and this is Sonjuhi, a yellow flower. Sonjuhi me aaj ek peeli kali lagi hai. Now, authoress is describing about her experience in the past with this little squirrel. She's going to narrate the entire episode. Sonjuhi is this plant with yellow flowers. And the authoress says that today in that plant, there is a yellow bud. Peely means yellow, Kali means bud. So a yellow bud has come in that particular Sonjuhi plant. Ise dekhkar anayas hi us chote jeev ka smaran ho aya jo is lata ki saghan haritima me chip kar baitha tha aur fir mere nikat pahunchte hi kandhe par kood kar mujhe chonka deta tha. Now when the authoress Mahadevi Varma saw this yellow bud, Suddenly, she was, she remembered that tiny creature 
which used to you know hide in this in the dense greenery of that particular plant and as soon as the authoress reached near him he would jump onto her shoulder and would surprise her anayas means suddenly chhota jeev means tiny creature smaran ho aya means she remembered lata ki saghan hari tima means in the dense greenery of that of the twines of this particular plant chipkar baitha tha who used to hide behind it nikat near kandhe par kood kar by jumping on the shoulders chonka deta tha mujhe used to surprise me i hope children you understood here she is describing about the squirrel who used to hide itself in the dense green greenery of this particular plant and as soon as the authoress reach would reach near him he would jump onto her shoulder and would surprise her tab mujhe kali ki khoj rehti thi par aaj us laghu pran ki khoj hai at that time i used to search for that yellow bud because she knew that he would be hiding behind that but today the authoress keeps searching for that tiny soul here laghu pran means that tiny soul to vah to ab tak us sonjuhi ki jad mein mitti hokar mil gaya hoga then she thought okay by now that particular tiny soul would have become mud and would have got mixed with the roots of this sonjuhi plant here jad means root mitti means mud this means that gillu is no more it has already died kon jaane swarnim kali ke bahane wahi mujhe chukane upar aa gaya ho who knows in the disguise of this golden yellow bud again gillu has come in order to surprise me so she just wishes that he comes back to her in some or the other form because she was it, it was her favorite pet swarnim kali means golden bud achanak ek din savere kamre mein baramde mein aakar maine dekha do kauve ek gamle ke charon or chonchon se chhua chhuaul jaisa khel khel rahe hain now she is describing the past suddenly one day early morning when she came to the veranda she saw that two crows they were you know r- running around a pot and it was looking as if they are trying to play hide and seek kauve means crows gamla means pot chon chon se with means with their Uh, chonch or what do we call with their beaks chua chua will means hide and seek jaisa khel khel rahe hain they were playing a game like hide and seek yah kaap bhushundi bhi vichitra pakshi hain these crows they are also very strange birds ek saath samadarit anadarit ati sammanit ati avmanit at the same time they are highly respected disrespected very deeply you know uh, paid respect at times and very deeply considered to be a you know a bird whom no one would like this slide the authoress is going to tell us when they are respected and when they are disrespected hamare bechare purkhe na garud ke roop mein aa sakte hain na mayur ke na hans ke a poor ancestors cannot come in the form of a eagle a peacock or a swan now in hindu culture it is believed that our our ancestors they always come in front of us in the form of crows and that is why the authoress tells here they cannot come in any other form here purkhe means ancestors garud means eagle mayur means peacock and hans means swan in he पितर पक्ष में हमसे कुछ पाने के लिए काक बनकर ही अवतीर्ण होना पड़ता है नो आप एनसेस्टर्स इन ऑर्डर टू गेट 
something from us on Pitar Paksh, they have to appear in front of us in the form of a crow. In Hindu culture, this is very strongly believed that on this particular day called Pitar Paksh, all our ancestors, they come to us and we have to offer them after some prayer and all some food. So this is what the authoress is talking about. So only they can accept this food from us only in the form of a crow. And this is why they are highly respected. Itna hi nahi, hamare durest priyajanon ko bhi apne aane ka madhu sandesh inke karkash swar mein hi dena parta hai. And not only this, it is believed that if there are some guests going to arrive at a place, we get that information quite in advance when the crow calls near our house. This is a belief. Durist priyajan means far away dear ones. Madhu sandesh means sweet message. Inke karkash swar means hoarse voice. Mehi dena parta hai. They have to give us. Dusri yor. So these are the two reasons why we respect the crows. When they call, we know that okay, we are going to get some guests. And other thing is, during Pitar Paksh, they have to appear in the form of a crow in order to get something from us. Now she tells why they, why and when they are disrespected. Dusri or ham kawa or kaam kaam karne ko avmanna ke arth mein hi prayukt karte hain. On the other hand, when we see crows, nobody likes it, right? We just shoo it away. And when somebody talks in a hoarse voice, we say, why are you doing kaam kaam or kaam kaam? Right? So this is when, in spite of their being so important, they are disrespected also at the same time. This is what the author is, authoress is making clear in this slide. I hope I'm clear, children. Ire ka Quran ke vivechan mein achanak badha apadi, kyunki gamle aur divar ki sandhi mein chipe ek chote se jeev par meri drishti rukh gai. The author says that her description of the crow's history was suddenly interrupted because her eyes, they fell on a tiny soul which was hiding itself at the joint between the pot and the wall. Here, kak puran means their history of the crow. Vivechan means description. Badha apadi means it was interrupted. Divar means wall. Sandhi means the point, the joint between the wall and the pot. Chota Sajeev means a tiny creature. Drishti, eyes. Rukh gay means fell or stopped. Nikat Jakar dekha, gilahiri ka chota sa bacha hai, jo sambhavta ghonsli se gir pada hai. Or ab kauwe jisme sulab ahar khoj rahe hai. When she went near that, she saw that it was a tiny child of a squirrel. Possibly it had fallen down from its nest and now these crows, they were finding their easy food in that tiny creature. Nikat Jakar means by going near. Gilahiri means squirrel. Sambhavta means possibly. Ghonsle se gir padahe means it has fallen down from the nest. Kauwe means crows. Sulap ahar means easy food. Khoj rahe hai means they were searching. Kaak dwai ki chonchon ke do khaab us laghu pran ke liye bohat te. Ata vah nishcheisht sa gamle se chipta pada tha. Now the authoress observed that the two crows, two injuries which they had made on that tiny soul they were more than enough for that little soul and it was lying almost unconscious by sticking itself to the pot. Now here, kak dwai means two crows. Ghav means injuries. These crows had made injuries on the tiny squirrel. Nishcheshd sa means almost unconscious without any activity. Chipta padatha means it had, with fear it had stuck itself to the pot. कहा कौवे की चोंच का घाव लगने के बाद यह बच नहीं सकता अतः इसे ऐसे ही रहने दिया जाए 
Now, everyone told the authoress that after getting hurt or injured by the beaks of the crows, it cannot survive. So, it's better to leave the squirrel just like that. Kauwe ki chonch means the beaks of the crow. Ghaav means injury. Bach nahi sakta means cannot survive. Parantu man nahi mana. Use hole se uthakar apne kamre milai. Fir rui se rakt ponch kar ghaavon par penicillin ka marham lagaya. But the authoress was not willing to do that. She was feeling very sad about it. So she picked up the tiny creature very delicately, brought it to her room and then with a cotton, she cleaned the blood which was caused due, uh, due to the beaks of the crows and then she applied the antibiotic penicillin on those injuries. Holly se utakar means by picking it up very delicately. Rui se with cotton. Rui means cotton. Rakt ponchkar. She cleaned the blood with the cotton. Ghao par on the injuries. Penicillin ka marham lagaya. She applied the antibiotic penicillin. Rui ki patli batti dood se bhigo kar. Jaise jaise uske nanhe se mu me lagai par mu khul na saka aur dood ki boonde dono or dhulak gai. Now she made a thin stick with cotton, dipped it in milk and somehow tried to you know, make the little squirrel drink that milk by taking that cotton tip near its mouth. But the tiny creature could not open its mouth and the drops of the milk just, you know, uh, fell on both sides of its mouth. Rui ki patli batti means a thin stick made up of cotton. Dood se bhigokar means she made it wet with milk. Dood ki boonde means drops of milk. Dono or dholagai means they dropped off or they fell off on both sides of the tiny creature's mouth. Kai ghante ke upchar ke upraant, uske muh mein ek boond paani takkaya ja saka. Now the authoress was going on trying to see that it would eat or drink at least something. And after hours of treatment she was able to put one single drop of water into the tiny creature's mouth kai ghante ke means after many hours of upchar ke uprant upchar means treatment uprant means after pani tapkaya ja saka she was able to drop a you know drop of water into its mouth Tisri din vahe itna acha aur ashwist ho gaya ki meri ungli apne do nanhe panjo se pakad kar nile kanch ke motiyon jaisi aankhon se idhar udhar dekhne laga. Now the authoress was very happy with the development of the tiny creature. She is saying that on the third day it was very good and so confident that with its two little paws it would hold the, the finger of the authoress and with its eyes, which she compares it to blue, you know, uh, glass pearls or beads. With those eyes, it would look here and there. Ashwist means confident. Do nanhe panjon se means with its two little paws. Nile means blue. Kanch ke motiyon jaisi ankhon se. Mutia means beads or pearls. Kanch means glass. So she is comparing the eyes of the tiny squirrel to glass beads which were blue in color. Teen char maas mein uske snigd roe, jabbedar poonch aur chanchal chamkili aankhe sab ko vismit karne lagi. Within three to four months, it's, you know, sticky hair its fluffy tail and restless shiny eyes started surprising everybody because you remember in the beginning everyone had told that since it was uh, hurt or injured by the crows it would not survive it was just the authoress's efforts which had given it life and because of which it had become so smart
तीन चार मास में मीन्स विद इन थ्री टू फोर मंथ्स स्निग्ध रोए मीन्स स्टिकी हेयर झब्बेदार पूंछ मीन्स फ्लफी टेल चिल्ड्रन ऑल ऑफ यू सीन स्क्रिल्स राइट दे हैव वेरी फ्लफी टेल्स चंचल मीन्स रेस्टलेस चमकीली आंखें मीन्स शाइनी आईज विस्मित करने लगी मीन स्टार्ट इट सरप्राइजिंग विस्मित मीन्स सरप्राइजिंग उसकी जातिवाचक संज्ञा को व्यक्तिवाचक का रूप दे दिया और इस प्रकार हम उसे गिल्लू कहकर बुलाने लगे नाउ द ऑथर इज सीइंग दैट शी हैड स्टार्टेड गेटिंग अटैच्ड टू इट ऑल द मोर सो इंस्टेड ऑफ द कॉमन नाउन एज अ स्क्वेरल दे गेव इट अ प्रॉपर नाउन अ नेम एंड दे स्टार्टेड कॉलिंग द स्क्वेरल एज गिल्लू मैंने फूल रखने की एक हल्की दलिया में रुई बिछाकर उसे तार से खिड़की पर लटका दिया नाउ हियर मैंने रेफर्स टू दी ऑथरिस महादेवी वर्मा नाउ व्हाट शी डिड इज शी टुक अ लाइट बास्केट एंड शी स्प्रेड लिटिल कॉटन ऑन इट एंड हंग दैट बास्केट ऑन द विंडो विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ वायर हल्की दलिया मींस लाइट वेट बास्केट रुई बिछाकर मीन्स शी स्प्रेड कॉटन इन दैट बास्केट उसे तार से तार से मीन्स विद अ वायर खिड़की पर लटका दिया मीन शी हंग इट ऑन दी विंडो सॉरी वही दो वर्ष गिल्लू का घर रहा नाउ दैट वॉज गिल्लूज हाउस फॉर अनादर टू इयर्स वह स्वयं हिलाकर अपने घर में झूलता और अपनी कांच के मन कौन सी आंखों से कमरे के भीतर और खिड़की से बाहर न जाने क्या देखता समझता रहता था बास्केट होम एंड इट वुड यू नो मूव द बास्केट बाय इट सेल्फ एंड वुड स्विंग ऑन इट एंड विद इट्स आईज विच वर लाइक यू नो ग्लास बीज इट वुड कीप लुकिंग इन साइड द रूम एंड आउटसाइड द विंडो एंड it was trying to understand or see a lot of things jhulta means it would swing kanch ke man kon si aankhon se so here the author is comparing the eyes of the squirrel to glass beads bheetar inside aur khidki se bahar outside the window na jaane kya dekhta samajhta rehta tha parantu उसकी समझदारी और कार्यकलाप पर सबको आश्चर्य होता था बट एवरी वन यूज टू गेट सरप्राइज एट इट्स अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड एक्टिविटीज समझदारी मीन्स इट्स स्मार्टनेस कार्यकलाप मीन्स इट्स एक्टिविटीज जब मैं लिखने बैठती तब अपनी और मेरा ध्यान आकर्षित करने की उसे इतनी तीव्र इच्छा होती थी कि उसने एक अच्छा उपाय खोज निकाला वेन महादेवी वर्मा वॉज अ राइटर राइट एंड शी यूज टू राइट लॉर ऑफ थिंग्स सो वेन एवर शी वुड सिट डाउन टू राइट इन ऑर्डर टू गेट हर अटेंशन ही यूज टू हैव यू नो डीप विश दैट द ऑथर इज वुड पे अटेंशन टू हिम राधर देन टू राइटिंग फॉर दैट ही हैड फाउंड आउट a very smart idea mera dhyan aakarshit dhyan means attention aakarshan means to get her attention teevra ichha hoti thi had a strong desire here they are talking about the desire of the little squirrel it had so much of strong desire to get her attention that it found out a plan for itself upay means plan khoj nikala means it found out वह मेरे पैर तक आकर सर से पर्दे पर चढ़ जाता और फिर उसी तेजी से उतरता ना वॉट वॉज दिस प्लान ही वुड कम टिल दस ऑफ दस एंड देन सडनली इन अ वेरी फास्ट पेज इट वुड क्लाइंब दर्टन एंड देन विद द सेम स्पीड इट वुड क्लाइंब डाउन पर्दा मीन्स कर्टन उसका यह दौड़ने का क्रम तब तक चलता जब तक मैं उसे पकड़ने के लिए ना उठती एंड इट वुड कीप डूइंग दिस टिल द टाइम आई वुड गेट अप टू कैच इट 
So this is the plan he found out in order to get the attention of Mahadevi Varma. Abhi main Gillu ko pakad kar ek lambe lifafe mein is prakar rakh deti ki uske agle do panjo aur sir ke atirik sara laghu gaat lifafe ke bheetar band rehta. At times, Mahadevi Varma would catch Gillu and put her or put him in a long cover in such a way that only its two little paws, front paws and head would be out. Other than that, its entire tiny body would be inside the cover. Lamba lifafa means long cover. Sara laghu gaat means tiny body. Lifafe ke bheetar means inside the cover. Is adbhut siti mein kabhi ghabi ghanto mez par divar ke sahare khada ukkar vah apni chamkili aankho se mera karya kalap dekha karta. Now in this wonderful situation for hours with the support of the wall it would keep standing and with its shiny eyes, it would continuously observe the activities of the authors. Adbhut stiti me means wonderful position. Ghanto means for hours. Divar ke sahare means with the support of the wall. Bhook lagne par chik chik karke mano vaha suchna deta. And when it would be hungry, it would make the sound of, you know, chik chik. And it would notify the authors that it is hungry. Or kaju ya biscuit mil jane par usi siti mein lifafe se bahar wale panjo se pakar kar usse kutarta. And when it would get cashew nuts or biscuit in the same position inside the cover with its little paws which, was, which were outside it would eat or chew on the food that is given to it. Suchna data means notify. Kaju means cash in it. Phir Gillu ke jeevan ka pratham basant aya. Then came the first spring of Gillu's life. Pratham basant means first spring. Neem chameli ki gand mere kamre mein hole hole aane lagi. The fragrance of Jasmine and neem leaves started coming into my room slowly. Chameli means jasmine and ganth means fragrance. Bahar ki gilahiriya khirgi ki jali ke paas aakar chik chik karke na jane kya kehne lagi. And the authors observed that the outside squirrels, they would come near the net of the window and they would say something to this to gilo. Chik chik karna means the, in their own tone. Jali ke pass means near the net. Jali ke pass baith kar apni pan se bahar chhangte dekh kar mujhe laga ki ise mukt karna avishak hai. Mahadevi Verma felt that it was very important to free Gillu because even Gillu would sit next to the window and keep looking outside longingly as if it also wanted to go outside and play with those other outside squirrels. So she found it necessary that she should free it now. Apne panse means with a feeling of belongingness to that community. Bahar jhangte dekhkar, peeping outside. Maine keele nikal kar jali ka ek kona khol diya. Or is mark se gillu na baha jane par, sorry, gillu ne baha jane par sachmachi mukti ki sansli. I removed the nails and opened one corner of the net of the window. And when gillu, it went outside through that path, it really, you know, breath took a fresh breath of freedom. Kile means nails, kona means corner, mukti ki sansli means took a fresh breath of freedom. All these years, 
Gil Gilu was inside that room, right? इतने छोटे जीव को घर में पले कुत्ते बिल्लियों से बचाना भी एक समस्या ही थी एंड इट वॉज अ प्रॉब्लम टू कीप यू नो प्रोटेक्टिंग दिस टाइनी क्रीचर फ्रॉम द डॉग्स एंड द कैट्स कागज पत्रों के कारण मेरे बाहर जाने पर कमरा बंद ही रहता है नो बिकॉज ऑफ इंपॉर्टेंट पेपर्स एंड लेटर्स वेन एवर महादेवी वर्मा वुड गो आउट हर रूम वुड रिमेन क्लोज आवश्यक मीन्स इंपॉर्टेंट कागज पत्र मीन्स पेपर्स मेरे कॉलेज से लौटने पर जैसे ही कमरा खोला गया और मैंने भीतर पैर रखा वैसे ही गिल्लू अपने जाली के द्वार से भीतर आकर मेरे पैर से सिर और सिर से पैर तक दौड़ लगाने लगा एंड एज सुन एज महादेवी वर्मा वुड रिटर्न फ्रॉम द कॉलेज एंड ओपन हर रूम एंड वुड पुट हर फुट इन साइड इमीडिएटली गिल्लू वुड एंटर द रूम थ्रू द पैसेज इन द नेट एंड वुड स्टार्ट रनिंग फ्रॉम हर फुट टू हर हेड एंड बैक टू द फुट तब से यह नित्य का क्रम हो गया From then onwards, it became a regular routine. Nitya Kakram means a regular routine. मेरे कमरे से बाहर जाने पर गिल्लू भी खिड़की की खुली जाली की राह बाहर चला जाता When Mahadevi Verma would go out of her room, even गिल्लू through the window, it would also go out. और दिन भर गिलहरियों के झुंड का नेता बना and throughout the day he would be the leader of the group of squirrels and har dal par uchalta kootta rehta he would keep jumping on each and every branch aur theek 4 baje and exactly at 4 o'clock woh khidki se bheetar aakar apne jhoole mein jhoolne lagta it would come inside the room through the window and would swing on its swing मुझे चौंकाने की इच्छा उसमें न जाने कब और कैसे उत्पन्न हो गई थी महादेवी वर्मा वंडर्स एस टू हाउ एंड वेन इट हैड डेवलप्ड अ स्ट्रॉन्ग डिजायर टू कीप सरप्राइजिंग दिस चौंकाने की इच्छा मीन्स द विश टू सरप्राइज हर कभी फूलदान के फूलों में छुप जाता समटाइम्स ही वुड हाइड अमंग द फ्लावर्स ऑफ द फ्लावर्स कभी पर्दे की चुन्नत में एट टाइम्स ही वुड हाइड ऑन द यू नो ऑन द कर्टन द कर्व्स और द टर्न्स ऑफ द कर्टन और कभी सोन जूही की पत्तियों में एंड एट टाइम्स ही वुड हाइड इट सेल्फ इन द लीव्स ऑफ सोन जूही फूलदान मीन्स फ्लावर्स पर्दे की चुन्नत मीन्स ऑन द टर्न्स ऑफ द कर्टन पत्तियों में मीन्स इन द अमंग द लीव्स मेरे पास बहुत से पशु पक्षी हैं और उनका मुझसे लगाव भी कम नहीं है महादेवी वर्मा हैड लॉट्स ऑफ पेट्स एंड देयर अटैचमेंट टुवर्ड्स हर वाज नॉट लेस परंतु बट उनमें से किसी को मेरे साथ मेरी थाली में खाने की हिम्मत हुई है ऐसा मुझे स्मरण नहीं आता बट दी ऑथर सीज दैट शी डज नॉट रिमेम्बर ऑफ एनी पेट हु the courage to sit with her and have food from her plate meri thali mein in her plate khane ki himmat hui hai have dared to eat in her plate gillu in name apwad tha gillu was the odd one out apwad means odd one main jaise hi khane ke kamre mein pahunchti as soon as mahadevi verma would reach the dining room वह खिड़की से निकलकर इट वुड ही वुड जंप आउट ऑफ द विंडो आंगन की दीवार द वॉल ऑफ द फ्रंट यार्ड इट वुड क्रॉस दैट बरामदा वेरांडा पार करके इट वुड क्रॉस द वेरांडा आल्सो एंड मेज पर पहुंच जाता इट वुड रीच द टेबल और मेरी थाली में बैठ जाना चाहता एंड इट वुड वांट टू सिट इन हर प्लेट आंगन की दीवार मीन्स दॉल ऑफ द फ्रंट यार्ड बड़ी कठिनाई से मैंने उसे 
थाली के पास बैठना सिखाया विद ग्रेट डिफिकल्टी महादेवी वर्मा टॉट दिस गिल्लू टू सिट नियर द प्लेट एंड नॉट ऑन द प्लेट जहां बैठकर वह मेरी थाली में से एक एक चावल उठाकर बड़ी सफाई से खाता रहता एंड सिटिंग देर इट वुड पिक अप वन वन ग्रेन ऑफ राइस फ्रॉम हर प्लेट एंड वेरी नीटली इट वुड ईट इट काजू उसका प्रिय खाद्य था काजू और दैशनेट वॉज इट्स प्री फेवरेट फूड खाद्य मीन्स फूड और कई दिन काजू ना मिलने पर वह अन्य खाने की चीजें या तो लेना बंद कर देता या झूले से नीचे फेंक देता था एंड फॉर मेनी डेज इफ इट डिड नॉट गेट कैशनेस इट वुड आईदर स्टॉप ईटिंग अदर थिंग्स और वॉट एवर इट वुड गेट इट वुड थ्रो इट डाउन फ्रॉम हर फ्रॉम इट्स स्विंग उसी बीच मुझे मोटर दुर्घटना में आहत होकर कुछ दिन अस्पताल में रहना पड़ा वन ऑफ दो महादेवी वर्मा मेट विद मोटर एक्सीडेंट एंड फॉर फ्यू डेज शी हैड टू बी इन द हॉस्पिटल मोटर दुर्घटना में मीन्स इन अ कार एक्सीडेंट आहत होकर शी गॉट इंजर्ड एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट शी हैड टू बी हॉस्पिटलाइज उन दिनों जब मेरे कमरे का दरवाजा खोला जाता गिल्लू अपने झूले से उतरकर दौड़ता और फिर किसी दूसरे को देखकर उसी तेजी से अपने घोंसले में जा बैठता नाउ दीज दैट ड्यूरिंग दोस्पिटल वेन समबरी वुड ओपन द डोर ऑफ हर रूम गिल्लू थिंकिंग दैट इट्स महादेवी वर्मा वु जम डाउन फ्रॉम इट्स स्विंग एंड वुड कम रनिंग टू ग्रीट हर बट एज सून एज it would see that it is someone else with the same speed it would go back and sit in its nest sab use kaju de aate everyone would give it cashew nut because it was its favorite food they thought that even if it doesn't eat anything else definitely it would eat those cashew nuts parantu aspatal se laut kar jab maine uske jhule ki safai ki to usme kaju bhare mile but after returning from the hospital when the authoress cleaned its nest she was surprised to find a lot of cashew nuts in its nest jin se gyat hota tha and she could know from that ki vah un dino apna priya khadya kitna kam khata raha from this she came to know that during those days when she was not present in the house how much less he was eating even though it was his favorite food cashew nuts was his favorite food he was missing her very badly that's what it shows meri aswasthata mein vah takiye par sirhane baithkar apne nanhe nanhe panjon se mere sir aur baalon ko itne haule haule sehlata rehta ki uska hatna ek paricharika ke hatne ke saman lagta when she in her illness the little tiny gillu would sit on the pillow near her head and with its tiny paws it would caress her hair very slowly and because of that when it would move away from her she would feel as if someone who's taking care of her that is an attendant is moving away from her that much of care gillu had given her when she was ill meri aswasthata me means in my illness takiye par means on the pillow sirhane baithkar sitting near her head nanhe nanhe panjon se with its little or tiny paws baalon ko haule haule sehlata rehta it would caress her hair very softly paricharika means attendant मियों में जब मैं दोपहर में काम कह करती रहती तो गिल्लू न बाहर जाता न अपने झूले में बैठता ड्यूरिंग समर सीजन वेन शी वुड कीप वर्किंग इन दी आफ्टरनून एट दैट टाइम गिल्लू वुड नाइदर गो आउट नॉट वुड सुट इन इट्स स्विंग उसने मेरे निकट रहने के साथ गर्मी से बचने का एक सर्वथा 
नया उपाय खोज निकाला था इट हैड डिस्कवर्ड अ एंटायरली न्यू आइडिया नॉट ओनली टू स्टे नियर द ऑथरस बट आल्सो टू प्रोटेक्ट इट सेल्फ फ्रॉम द हीट वह मेरे पास रखी सुराही पर ले जाता इट वुड लाई डाउन ऑन द वाटर जग व्हिच द ऑथरस हैड केप्ट नियर हर और इस प्रकार समीप भी रहता और ठंडक में भी रहता This way, he would remain cool as well as near the ऑथरस Surahi means water jug. गिलहरियों के जीवन की अवधि दो वर्ष से अधिक नहीं होती The lifespan of a squirrel is not more than टू years. जीवन की अवधि means lifespan. स्पैन अतः गिल्लू की जीवन यात्रा का अंत आ ही गया एंड नाउ इट वॉज द एंड ऑफ गिल्लूज जर्नी ऑफ लाइफ दिन भर उसने ना कुछ खाया न बाहर गया थ्रू आउट द डे इट डिड नॉट ईट एनी थिंग और डिड नॉट गो आउटसाइड एज वेल रात में अंत की यातना में भी वह अपने झूले से उतर कर मेरे बिस्तर पर आया और ठंडे पंजों से मेरी वही उंगली पकड़ कर हाथ से चिपक गया जिसे उसने अपने बचपन की मरणासन स्थिति में पकड़ा था रात में अंत की यातना में इन द नाइट टूवर्ड्स द सफरिंग ऑफ द यू नो एंड ऑफ द जर्नी वह अपने झूले से उतरकर मेरे बिस्तर पाया इट केम डाउन फ्रॉम इट्स स्विंग टू माय बेड ऑन टू माय बेड और ठंडे पंजों से एंड विद इट्स कोल्ड पॉज इट कॉट the same finger of the authors which it had caught when the authors had discovered it in a you know a situation where it was about to die 2 years before panje itne thande ho rahe the ki maine jaag kar heater jalaya its paws were so cold that i got up and i burned the heater और उसे उष्णता देने का प्रयत्न किया एंड आई ट्राई टू गिव हिम और दिल सम उष्णता मीन्स वॉम्थ परंतु प्रभात की प्रथम किरण के स्पर्श के साथ ही वह किसी और जीवन में जागने के लिए सो गया दी ऑथरस इज बुट इट इन अ वेरी टचिंग वे शी सेट दैट इन स्पाइट ऑफ ऑल हर एफर्ट शी कुड नॉट सेव हिम विद टच ऑफ द फर्स्ट सन रेज ऑफ द मॉर्निंग He slept off in order to wake up in some other life. उसका झूला उतार कर रख दिया गया है I have removed its swing and kept it aside. और खिड़की की जाली बंद कर दी गई है And we have closed the net of the window. परंतु but गिलहरियों की नई पीढ़ी जाली के उस पार चिक चिक करती ही रहती है But the new generation of squirrels, it they keep coming to on to the window and they keep doing chik chik or soon soon jo hi par basant aata hi rehta hai and spring keeps coming on on soon jo hi the yellow, yellow flowered plant children the first paragraph is a repetition of the previous slide so i'll continue with the second paragraph soon jo hi ki lata ke niche gillu ko samadhi di gayi hai Now Gillu has been buried under the Sonjuhi's twines. Lata means twines. Samadhi di gayi hai means it has been buried. Now she tells the reasons for burying him under Sonjuhi plant. Isliye bhi ki usse vah lata sabse adhik priya thi. One reason is that Sonjuhi's twine was his favorite plant. Isliye bhi ki us laghu gaat ka किसी वासंती दिन जूही के पीताब छोटे फूल में खिल जाने का विश्वास मुझे संतोष देता है दैट वॉज वन रीजन सो जूही प्लांट वॉज हिज फेवरेट नॉट ओनली दैट द बिलीफ दैट मे बी इन वन फाइन स्प्रिंग गिल्लू विल कम बैक इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ येलो बट दैट काइंड ऑफ बिलीफ गिवस हर सम कंसोलेशन These are the two reasons why she buried Gillu under the Sonjuhi plant. I hope children you all understood the lesson. 
I think it's very late. Uh, children had asked me really many times about uploading this lesson. I'm so sorry. I was really tied up with something personal. I hope you have understood it, children. And in case you have any doubts, do let me know. I will definitely get back to you. And other lessons also which you have requested, I'll be uploading at the earliest. All of you, best wishes, children. Thank mm -hmm. you.